we left this in a state that does not compile. And the reason is that the notify quest actor is not callable from Blueprint. So that's a useful lesson. When you make something a Blueprint implementable event, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's also Blueprint callable. That has to be a separate thing that you put in the U function. So let's go ahead and do that and compile. And once that compilation has succeeded, you can go over and see that our Blueprint is now happy to compile because this is now a Blueprint callable function. So what we're going to be doing is trying to migrate as much as possible the stuff for grab over into C++. So what things are going to have to come across here? We have this trace for physics bodies, which is a function over here in the grabber. We also have some if statements. We can do those in C++ easily. A get center of mass, we could do that quite easily. Simulate physics, yeah, we could do that. Grab component location. So all of this stuff we could easily do once we know what the function calls actually are in C++. And the only thing that's a little bit complicated is this trace of physics bodies. Yes, we could implement that in C++ as well. But I want to show you a way that we could just duck that out into Blueprint and then easily implement Grabber using that function as opposed to having to bring over all the functions that are used so that it makes refactoring from Blueprint to C++ just that little bit easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rename our trace for physics bodies so that when we create it in C++, we aren't going to create a conflicting function. So we've got our trace of physics bodies. I'm also going to copy that and use that as the name of a new protected function. And this time we are going to be using, instead of a Blueprint implementable event, I'm just going to show you the difference by implementing a Blueprint native event instead. Now we do want this to be, probably want it to be callable from Blueprint for now. So we'll make it Blueprint callable, and we'll also make it a Blueprint native event. And a Blueprint native event, just for now, consider it to be very, very similar to a Blueprint implementable event with a few distinctions. So the first thing is trace for physics bodies. We're going to have to try and copy over the signature as best we can from the Blueprint. So what is the Blueprint signature? You can see that it has basically no inputs but three outputs. We've got the hit actor, the hit component, and the return value being a Boolean. Now, the way we typically do this in C++ is that one of these is going to be the return value and the rest are going to be out parameters. Now, the one I'm going to use as a return value, and this is quite typical, is for the Boolean to be the return value and for the other two to be out parameters. So it's going to be bool return for trace for physics bodies. And we are then going to go ahead and have a hit actor. Now, the type of that is going to be an actor pointer. So it's going to need to be an actor pointer reference in order to be an out parameter. The next out parameter is going to be the hit component. And we can see the type is a primitive component. So do we have the primitive component added in here? No, we don't. So the include would be hash include components forward slash primitive component. And then we can use the type over here in the signature. So we're going to have a U primitive component because U is the prefix, U primitive component star, because it's a pointer to this thing that we are trying to update. And then it is going to be a reference because we are wanting to update the pointer to that U primitive component. A little bit convoluted, I know. But basically, if we are using out parameters, it's always a reference to whatever the type that we are trying to output, which is a U primitive component pointer. And as we said, the type here is going to be hit component. So that fully finishes off our signature for the trace for physics bodies. Now, we don't implement it as such, but we do have to implement something in here. And that's the difference between a Blueprint native event and a Blueprint implementable event. So let's have a more thorough look at the comparison between the two. In the Blueprint implementable event, there is no C++ implementation possible. Everything has to happen in Blueprint, and it typically wants to be overridden in Blueprint. It's there for overriding. It needs to be overridden. On the other hand, the Blueprint native event has a default C++ implementation. And it can be overridden in Blueprint, and the Blueprint can call to the C++ implementation. So this is much more like a virtual function that can be implemented into Blueprint. But it doesn't have to be implemented in Blueprint, crucially, because there is that default C++ implementation. So that's the difference. Now, how do we go about doing it? Well, if we just try to implement this, so I'd copy the signatures to the clipboard and go over into the C++ and stick my signature down here, then this would actually not be happy to compile. Let me show you what error message it gives. Now, it's a little bit hard to pass, but the first one here is a warning from the linker, and that's saying that there's already a definition for the trace for physics bodies, and it's ignoring the second definition, so that's a sign that something's gone wrong. And then there's an error, 
and the error is saying that it cannot find a implementation. Well, first, this one's saying that there's already defined, and then there is down here, it can't find this trace for physics bodies implementation. So that is the sign. Basically, Unreal is doing something clever for us. It's automatically creating a trace for physics bodies implementation. So we shouldn't be creating one as well, but instead we have to create a function, this trace for physics bodies underscore implementation, and that is going to be our default C++ implementation. Now, don't worry if Visual Studio doesn't highlight this properly for you. This is the correct syntax. You go ahead and build, it will prove it to you. So with a successful compilation, let's go over into the BP Grabber. And how do we get access to overriding this function? Well, we go to our functions and click on the override button, and there is a trace for physics bodies option right there. So I can go ahead and override our trace for physics bodies, and you can see that automatically there is this node here that is calling to our parent implementation, which actually at the moment we don't really want to be calling to, don't particularly care about it. But what we are going to do is move the implementation of trace for physics bodies over into that. So let's grab all the nodes that aren't the return node and input node and cut them out of here and put them in our trace for physics bodies. And for right now, we're going to remove our call to parent, although eventually we're going to move all of this into C++. So we can then go ahead and hook up our execution pins. And then finally, the output pins, we want our hit actor our hit component and our return value from the sphere trace, like so, reconnecting it back up as it was before. And finally, we can find the references to our old BP trace for physics body, which was over here in grab, and we can put in our new trace for physics body just for the time being, because eventually we are going to be replacing it, as I said. So let's connect up all the different nodes and reconnect the hit component nodes and the hit actor nodes. We are set up going via the blueprint native event instead of a blueprint implementable event. And this gives us more latitude to slowly move bits of the trace for physics body over into C++. We could say, okay, some things we want to implement over in the parent class instead of this. In this case, it's quite simple. It's just an example. So let's go ahead and delete the old BP trace of physics body and we'll consider this complete. We have learnt about the differences between the Blueprint implementable events and the Blueprint native events, why you might want to use one over the other, and we've gone ahead and moved one of our implementations over into a Blueprint native event. 